This used to be Paige's daycare. And if I recall correctly, I think they used to be, they're up for lease right now. This building, watch it become another generic Christian church. Um, I think they used to be located somewhere else. I'm not 100% sure. Pages Preschool and Discovery Academy. So, have, smile, you're on camera. Where's the camera at? Right here. Look at these doors. That's nice. It's weird that they don't have a normal, um, what do you call it? A normal, uh, what do you call it? People don't live here right now, do they? Why would anybody be living there if it's up for fucking for lease? I just find it weird that they only have the normal lock on it and they don't have a uh, realtor lock. Because that lock on the front there isn't a realtor lock, it's like a um whatchamacallit. Hmm. And look at this driveway. This parking lot. People are like, what the fuck is he doing? They're probably gonna call the cops, I don't give a shit. I wonder how long this place has been abandoned for. Or I guess up for lease for, because look at this fucking parking lot. It hasn't been shaved or anything. It hasn't been trimmed. And then, what is this? This whole area here is separate from this and that. Yeah, I should probably be filming during the day for more clarity. Was this like maybe like a little park area? So it looks like they have a little walking trail here. Maybe this was like an old, the old city park. And now, uh, this is like the old fucking city park. There's even a fucking thing there with... Like, what is that? I can't fucking see that in the dark. A plaque or something? Oh, it is their play area. It's a little playhouse, okay. They have a... I just noticed they have a lock on the gate. I don't think they ever probably used it though. They probably had all the kids 
back here. In this area. Wow, it really looks like a fucking... It looks like a fucking... Uh, whatchamacallit? It looks like a zoo. Like a cage. That you take your... Uh, your animals that you have imported from... From Siberia or wherever. Weird. It's gonna be really awkward if somebody lives here and they're like, yeah, there's somebody walking around filming. It doesn't look like anybody lives there though. But they're airing the place out. They got the windows fucking open. <laughs> See now, the front here, These are what you would see in a church. This whole building was always weird to me. That's like the... This is like a frosted glass. Or whatever, pixelated glass, frosted glass. You see that? <clears throat> but you would, in a church... Looks like that window broke at some point and they replaced it with that, or... No, that's the original. These two were broken and replaced. It's, I think a car ran into it at some point. I think that's what happened, if I remember. Um, if this was a church, those would be stained glass with like you know, all their saints and everything, Jesus and Mary and... Okay. <laughs> They're like, I'm calling the cops. I don't think anybody, okay, cro correct me if I'm wrong. Smile your own camera. I think a lot of people put those on there just to scare people away. If they actually had security there or someone living there with a camera system and as close as the cops are to here, they would have been fucking called. <laughs> this is Paige's Preschool and Discovery Academy. Wow, they went all the way up to age 11. That's kind of high for going to a baby care center. It's like pitch fucking black out here. You could be any kind of you could be like any kind of fucking weirdo out here and pretty much get away with whatever. See the Clinton cops, I've seen them drive actually drive their cop cars on the track when it's past closing time like around 10 or 11 or whenever and shining their fucking light if I have to go to the bathroom I am probably going to be in there for a minute as much as I hate to admit that I'm gonna have to film the park here because they had kids here. The one day I came out here earlier this year, or last year, or this year, whenever, to film. So, oh, they have those locked for sure. For sure. That's why they have these nasty. Those nasty
<laughs> so yes, it is locked. Ew. I need to sanitize my hand <laughs> after touching that. It's fine. I can hold it. I guess I can film the park, the little kids area since there's nobody here. Are those fucking shoes? This is like fucking Blair Witch. This is like the fucking Blair Witch, but with shoes. What the fuck? I heard that there's supposedly the urban urban legend, the rumor, is people throw those up there. It's like supposed to be how many people they killed. Or something. I think it's bullshit. I think people just take them, they steal them, they throw them. What is this? This is like a... Yeah, that's like a zip line thing. That's fun. Monkey bars, well, sort of like the jungle gem. Oh, the whole thing's called a jungle gem, isn't it? I always call it Kitty King, and I guess it's jungle gem. The jungle gem. I'm not gonna climb because last time I did at Frank Whalen, I fucking smacked my head. And uh, it didn't feel good at all. <laughs> So they always have like variations of slides. Of course, they do need to take into account the different, the varying ages of children that come with their parents. Like this one here for like toddlers and babies. Well, maybe not baby babies, but you know, ones that can, their motor skills, they can walk and they can run and It looks to be fair. I think this is all fairly new. It's pretty nice. Maybe I'll do an update with the other video, or I'll just make this its own update. And there's swings. Swings for the kids, for the toddlers, the babies. And swings here. For the adults. I'm just waiting for a cop to fucking spin around and come out and shine his lights on me and be like what the fuck are you doing this park is closed asshole and I'd be like I'm sorry it was just I woke up I had breakfast and I just okay this is fucking cool this is normally a volleyball area but this here this little pit here this little arena thing. I don't know what you call it. Cage. I guess it'd be for like mud wrestling. I don't know what the fuck it would be for. My first thought would be if they had ponies or something and they have like pony rides but sand is not exactly the best texture to be uh, riding hooves on. You know, that's why camels are ridden through the sands and not horses. And the skate park is over here. I didn't really film. This guy's parked over here at the park illegally. So like I see somebody filming. The skate park is over here and I didn't get to film it properly last time because it was in use. But now nobody's there, so I can film. This is a big fucking park, by the way. I filmed it. I think it was earlier this year. It might have been last year. Like, late last year. I think it was earlier this year. That I filmed it. It is a huge park. And the skate park here... 
I fucking pass it? No. The skate park here was put in, I want to say 2004, 2005. It was put in years before the Sunset City, for whatever reason, decided that George, um, George White North Park was the perfect, so this is supposed to be a water, a drinking fountain, guess what? I thought they had to make sure kids had ample access to fucking fresh water. It's just a little skate park. Of course, people come here and graffiti the shit out of it. And it's been sandblasted. That's what that uh, smearing out is. It's sandblasting. I remember stopping through somewhere in Nevada or Arizona on the way to California. And the park had this nice... I don't do skating. I don't skate. I don't whatever. But they had this nice looking skate park. And it was all like red. Like I think they call it like the Red Dunes or Red Rock Skate Park. And it wasn't by like Red Rock National Park. That's just what it looked like. But it was really nice. Everything was red. So if people graffiti it, which they ne inevitably fucking do, they can just go and easily match it with the color red. Is that guy seriously just started his car and he's not even in it yet to drive? 